our national symbol of democracy and freedom. But behind the proud history of the White House are the black hands of hundreds of slaves. It was the slaves that did a lot of the building of the White House. Uh, they also worked there, did the service jobs where the people that would tend the horses or clean the dishes, prepare the meals. That's the history the future first family inherits. And the Obama's own history is one of slavery too. Michelle Obama learned just this year that her great-great-grandfather worked on a rice plantation in South Carolina. She says finding that part of her past uncovered both shame and pride, what she calls the tangled history of this country. No, I think Michelle should celebrate the fact that, uh, a, that her, her ancestors had uh, come through the ordeal of slavery. Her children are, are sleeping in the room of presidents, and uh, it's a very great and hopeful sign. It's hard to know what the Obamas were thinking as they toured the White House after the election. Twelve American presidents own slaves, and eight presidents own slaves while they were in office. For instance, Andrew Jackson called slaves unfortunate creatures, but he owned more than 160. And Zachary Taylor said owning slaves was a constitutional right, worth going to war to keep. This year, November 4th, was a new beginning. If there is anyone out there who still doubts that America is a place where all things are possible. Tonight is your answer.